Huntech Pro is proudly brought to you by Wildebees, Magnum Archery, Orpen Weapons, Oberholzer Taxidermy, No Scent, Nat Shoot, and Gunrats. Huntech Pro continues their hunting trip at the picturesque Montera Safaris. Montera Safaris is an absolute African bushveld jewel, nestled by the Limpopo River close to Aldays in the Limpopo province. Montera is our family-owned farm on the Limpopo River, 6,000 hectares of pristine, wild African bushveld. It is honestly the wildest part of South Africa. The name Montera means my land in Spanish. So when every person that comes here says it, it becomes theirs. And that's what we offer our clients, is the opportunity to make this place their own and to come here and have that exclusive hunting opportunity in the purest form possible. All our games free roaming on our family owned 6,000 hectare farm free-range animals, really hunting in the wildest part of South Africa. We accommodate bow hunters, we accommodate rifle hunters, crossbows, first-time hunters and experienced hunters. Montero really is in the wildest part of South Africa and it always has something new to offer for every hunter that comes here. Our clients that have been coming back to us for over 10 years or for the first-time hunter, there's always something amazing and something that can really change your perspective on what you think the bush felt is here at Montero. Our sustainable hunting and game management practices have not only preserved the land here, but enhanced the natural species and the environment. Our game management practices allow us to hold high numbers of animals and produce exceptional trophy quality for our ethical hunters. Ethics is a very strong part of what we, what we do here at Monterra. So all of our hunting that is done is either done by walk and stalk or rifle hunting, and we hunt out of blinds for bow and crossbow hunting. Every client that comes to Monterra is part of the family. Whether you're a South African meat hunter or an international trophy hunter looking for that once in a lifetime animal, to us you get the same treatment and you go out with a professional guide, our professional team of skinners and trackers, and we really try to offer the same standard of service across the board because every single client that comes here is special. And our meat hunters, especially our South African meat hunters, it's something very close to my heart. My personal ethic is that I only shoot uh, animals that I'm going to eat or that I intend to eat. And um, you know, I really, I really feel for the guys that come out to hunt to fill their freezers, to feed their families, because that is the, the, the truest form of hunting. That is our origins as a hunting culture, as a, as a community of people. That is our historical origin. So it's very important that we embrace our South African meat hunters with the same warmth and enthusiasm and level of service that we give to our international clients. I think our South Africans deserve it. I think they are slightly neg neglected by our industry and being offered opportunities to hunt places like Montero and be given that standard of service and accommodation at an affordable rate. Um, and I think that's something that we offer here at Montero is a place for South African hunters to call home. Whether they want to come for that once in a lifetime trophy or fill their freezer to feed their families, we offer something for everybody, you know, trophy hunting, cull hunting, meat hunting, uh, rifle, bow, 
um, first time hunters, experienced hunters and as long as everyone leaves here with a smile on their face and a, a mind full of beautiful memories in nature, seeing nature at its rawest element out here in the wildest part of South Africa, um, up here on the, the border of Botswana on the Limpopo River, I think it's, it's really something special that we at Montero really want to share with all of our, all of our clients from, from all walks of life and from all parts of the world. So really I'd like to extend the invitation to all of our international and South African hunters out there to come to Montero, become part of the family and to make Africa your own. Huntec Pro is proudly sponsored by Ultimo Group, Trigger Cam, Helber Rifles Bullets and Innovations, Glow Tech Energy, Elroy Water, Biltong Supply Company, Madeley Skeepers Optometrist, Grizzly Deer, Bebs, SSG Cases, Seek Thermal, and Nightsight. Huntech Pro's proud media partner is Game and Hunt Magazine. To make the big shots, you've got to be ready in tough spots. The new Trigger Stick Gen 3 makes it faster than ever to shoot steadier than ever. With one hand trigger adjustments, a new quick detach yoke for fast switches from optics to gun, and new locking leg angles for full adjustments in any terrain. Be more than rock steady, be shock steady. The new Trigger Stick Gen 3, only from Primos. Oberholzer Taxidermy strives to portray your hunting trophies in as realistic a state as possible. We give you a trophy that you aren't simply proud of or would like to add to your collection, but also your very own prized piece of Africa along with fond memories of our land. Hunting is an incredibly rewarding sport. Complement your prize with professional taxidermy services at Oberholzer Taxidermy. At Orpen Weapons, we have a dedicated team of professionals that are extremely passionate about firearms. We specialize in custom rifle building, accurizing, customization, repair and general sales of firearms and their related accessories. Each firearm receives our signature attention to detail, met with unique insight gathered through more than 50 years experience as gunsmiths. We look forward to assist you in your firearm needs. The Huntech team, Ross and Almain made sure that their rifles are sighted in for the hunts that lie ahead. Always make sure that you hit your target before going into the field. Okay, so we're about to climb up into the high house here at Montero on one of our planes called Jackal Plane. Going to see if we can't make a nice long distance shot on a, on a Gemsbuck at around 400 meters. It's not something we do every day in the bushveld, but it's something different that we offer here at Montero Safaris. A few high points, vantage points on the property where we are able to offer long range shooting. So I'm out here and I'm going to show the boys how it's done. Hopefully everything goes well. Is that one, is that the one standing way left? The one left at the chemist box, but after Elon's part. Okay, I'm on him. That's 402. The wind's about five miles straight ahead. Okay, got a clanky with no stop from the no, left side. He's right next to the Elon. No, he's standing right in front of the Elon now. Mm. Now the Yellan's at 406. Mm. 
Yeah, now that she's look, looking away from her, she see how skinny those hips are. Mm. It looked good. Felt good. Sounded like you hit it proper. You could hear that doop. Okay, so we've taken a shot on a nice old Gimspa cow, right animal to take. Our main uh, ranged her at about 400 meters. I got out my phone, the Strelok Pro app did some quick maths and uh, made all the adjustments that were necessary and then um, yeah, felt very comfortable, got my breathing right, slow squeeze on the trigger and it went off. Looks like we've connected with her in the right place in the vital triangle and uh, now we're going to go see she ran off with the herd a little bit but hopefully she's not going to be lying too far from, from where we shot her. So here we go. Okay, so the trackers have found some blood. It's looking good. Blood spore is leading into this thicket here, so hopefully we've connected with the right cow and she's down. So let's go have a look. Is. Looks like an effective shot. Beautiful old cow, lovely long horns on it. Quite skinny, we could see this animal had been losing condition and uh, yeah, definitely the right animal to take. Feeling very good about it. Our first shot over 400 meters, it went very well. You know, we changed the game a little bit and you got the old boy there behind the, behind the scope and um, you know, try to show you guys how it's done shooting out of the high house. 404 meters, that is my new personal best um, on that old Gemspa cow that we shot. You know, we'd been looking at that cow for a long time and uh, we slowly saw her losing condition. It's been a season now, she hasn't given us any babies. And um, yeah, she was getting very skinny and we had our doubts whether she would make the end of this winter. So yeah, when she walked out, 404 meters, 308 Winchester made its mark and um, yeah, what more can I say? It was a privilege. Uh, obviously, I felt a little bit under pressure to perform in front of the cameras and, uh, and you guys, but you know, this is our life. We hunt, we guide. It is something that we're very passionate about. And um, obviously, all the animals that get taken are carefully selected for their, either their trophy quality or their age or to strengthen the gene pool of breeding animals here. And we always try and leave the prime breeding genetics and the prime breeding animals um, for many, many seasons to come. And that's all part of our sustainable um, hunting and environmental management model that we have here at Monterra. You know, it's been in my family for over 40 years and myself and our main look at this 
whole project that we are undergoing here as our responsibility to ensure that this land stays here and that species and the environment is conserved, not for the next 40 years, but the next 140 years. A deer's nose is 1,000 times more powerful than the human nose. That means he will smell you way before you ever see him. No Scent is a three-phase scent elimination system that destroys 100% of human odor. Our revolutionary enzyme formula works by fully encapsulating and by attacking and eliminating human odor particles. Our No Scent laundry pods, hair and body wash, and field spray will take 100% of the stink out of you. No Scent. Hunt undetected. Montera Safaris offers both full catering and self-catering options. Their in-house chef prepares some of the most delicious dishes, morning, noon and evenings. The Huntech Pro team were dined in true Montera Safaris hospitality fashion. Montera was established as the exclusive hunting ground of an American business owner in the 1980s. Out of his passion for hunting and conservation they are proud to offer you the exclusive opportunity to make Africa your own. Ross asked me if I want to hunt one of the most common animals I have on the property and of course that's the Impala Ram. I was excited to do this hunt again because I was going to use my 9.3 by 62 caliber. We loaded the 9.3 with a new Sarko ammunition, the Super Hammerhead. So I was really excited to see what this ammunition would do. Ross has told me a lot during the visit here at Monterey Safaris, but on this hunt, I noticed something. He, he, he showed us that you must predict where the animals would be. So that means you would go at a different angle towards them. You don't walk in a straight line to them, but rather where they would be. 
So using this technique, you will stay undetected, the animals won't see you, and they won't smell you if you keep the wind in your face. We spotted a few Impala ramps and Ross said we're going to do the booty scoot. So we got down on our bumps and we scooted closer. There was a nice brush in front of us so they couldn't see us. So Ross spent some time to just check which ram was a good ram to take. Ross spotted the ramp we were after. He got out the shooting sticks, he told me to get up the sticks and I was ready. Oh, come on. so important to the ethic and the morals of what we of what we do as hunters. Yeah. Now just thanks again for yeah. the opportunity man. Absolute pleasure. It's been a pleasure working with you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Good job Johan you made a fantastic shot. Quartering towards right on the edge of the shoulder. Exactly where I would have put it myself. Perfect. It's a beautiful, beautiful run. First touch is yours. Thank you for That's the one I, that you saw the first time with this one coming up. Yeah. Very nice ram, man. See, he's got a beautiful swart nose. Yeah, yes. Swart three piece over the eyes. It's beautiful ram, this. Ross, just thanks again for the opportunity, man. Oh, congratulations, really you made a great shot. Thanks, well done. All the animals that we have hunted here at Monterey Safari, so I could really see the good genetics that they put into the farm. This ram has unique character towards his face. He's got the nice black markings on his nose. You could see that it was a good ram in his days. And I was really lucky that I could, could get the opportunity to harvest a nice ram like this. So with the Huntec team being here and Seppi from Magnum Archery also being able to be here and hunting himself, we got to talk a lot about some of the releases used with bow hunting. And I've been struggling a bit with a back tension release and Seppi got me into a position where I was being able to hit the dong or hit the mark at 50 meters continuously. So the situation arose for me to, to do a hunt on Montera and 
we decided on doing a blessed buck walk and stalk. So for the last two days, continuously me, Rosson and Johan were on the trail and on the tracks of blessed buck every day. Every morning, every afternoon, we were pushing and continuously trying to get a blessed buck and walk and stalk. It ended up being to a situation where we were at 45 meters and I was on full draw and it, did, it just didn't work out. Uh, we've been trying to get a blessed buck and walk and stalk and I must say, a lot of guys take this animal for granted. Being able, able to shoot a blessed buck with a rifle is something I'll say is much easier than with a bow. Um, yes, they stand and look at you with a rifle, with a bow, getting up close and personal isn't always the case. Um, especially when you have a big herd with like 40 sets of different eyes looking at you, getting in that position where you want to take the male, take the ram out. Um, an effective bow range is very difficult. We did get the situation that just didn't turn out to ethically shoot the animal. And knowing that we only had two days to ethically hunt a blessed buck ram, it got difficult. Um, animals started to getting, getting more clever each and every day with what we were doing. The animals, the herd started noticing us getting into an area, even though we were walking in, getting in closer, they could hear the vehicle at a few hundred meters and knew that something was coming. You could see it in their behavior. Eister, ons kort rauw materiaal voor een nieuwe hellebeest scammer. Krijg voor ons die volgende. Verf, eyelids, ripcord, zips, goeders wat je bang maakt. Moet niet terug in die zien. Raak rof. Today on the last day we had overcast weather, the wind was blowing, the animals were lying down. It was difficult just seeing them from a glassing point. So not ethically seeing animal makes it very difficult to actually get on top of them and then hunting one of them. And knowing that it's the last day, um, on last light we bumped this herd of blessed buck and we knew the situation was done for. You know as a bow hunter that if animals see you and they know what you're up to, it makes it very difficult to ethically shoot them. So knowing it was last light and the animals are pushing getting out of the area, I decided to go back to my rifle, uh, not going home empty handed. I took out my 30 out 6 Saku and... Shot, 120 meters. Didn't go to any. Didn't go to any. 
fantastic. Nice all down this. Got the shot about 120 meters. Johan always on the sticks, always taking nice videos for us. It worked out perfectly. I shot my blessed by Graham at about 120 meters. The shot was nice on the shoulder and it went down within 15 meters. Still a very proud, proud um, situation for me knowing that I've worked the last two days with Ross and Johan continuously on Blessbuck, on foot crawling, butt crawling. We were working hard to get on Blessbuck and eventually getting my, my Blessbuck ram. It's a proud feeling knowing that I did it the right way. I put in the time, put in the effort and I answered it the ethically way. And that's how we do it here at Monterra Safaris. We always do it the ethical way. It's recommended that you do a little research on the animals you wish to hunt on safari. A good trophy is so much more than just a measurement from Roland Ward or a score from the SCI record book. It is a journey starting with excited expectation and ending in a success story. So I finally got the opportunity to hunt one of my bucket list species here at Montero Safaris. It has long been a dream of mine to harvest a sable bull and Ross and Almain made that dream come true. Okay Bilo, so we just saw a beautiful sable bull lying down um, about five, six hundred meters back that way. The wind's perfect, the sun's behind our back. Um, let's see if we can, can't get you into position and uh, get a be bag of beautiful sable. Awesome. Let's, let's go. It. The bull was spotted earlier and we were notified. We drove out to the location. We got off the vehicle and started the store. Everything from the spotting right through the stalking played out so well. The sun was behind us, giving us the advantage of not being seen by the bull where he was bedded down. And the wind was perfect. This bull was a perfect candidate to be called as a management animal and on closer inspection we discovered that he had two major injuries that he sustained through fighting with other bulls. His tips were broken off and his teeth were also worn down. I can do it yeah. Well done. Well done. You can do it again. And your first touch is on you. He's gone. I can't believe it, eh? And he has an abscess in his neck. Must be an old part in there. Yeah. Okay. No, perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> 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 
super Save salty rose summer donkey. memories. Great shooting, great shooting. <laughs> well done. Thanks, you finally got your saber. Oh, look what happened. We were discussing this bull and that bull and you know, on 7,000, 6,000 hectares, looking for one specific bull is nearly impossible. But look how we were blessed. He's got stabbed. He has an old fighting wound there in his stomach. He's got a clear abscess there in his neck from fighting as well. He's broken both his tips off. He's an excellent, excellent, excellent animal to take. Yes, and I don't I think anyone on this earth deserves it more than no, you. Thank you, mate. And you did <laughs> a fantastic job. Well done. Thanks, oh, <laughs> absolute pleasure, well Bula. Thanks. Well done. Fantastic <laughs> shot as well. Thanks, Had to be quick. It's my first ever frontal shot. On really? Oh. Well, that went well. <laughs> <laughs> no, you stayed calm and he, you, ex he, d he literally went 20, 20 inches straight down. <laughs> so we have a tradition to show respect and thankfulness for the, for the sacrifice that the animal has made. To say thank you for many years of breeding on Montero. You can see this is an old bull well past his prime. So we just say thank you. Khane goed, khane wel. In Afrikaans means go good, go well. And thank you for all the years of breeding and for paying the ultimate price and the sacrifice this animal makes so that so many more of his kind can populate the earth. So, Ghani Ghut, Ghani Val. Go good, go well. And thank you. And thank you to God. Yes. This bull had so much character and the fact that he was a fighter kind of reminds me of myself, but in a good way. One can clearly see that he never backed down right up until the end. Thank you Almain for guiding me on one of my most epic hunts to date. And to Ross, I just want to express my appreciation for granting me this unbelievable opportunity. As I said before, Montero Safaris is truly a South African gem and definitely a premier hunting destination for the outdoor enthusiast. We've come to the end of another fantastic hunt with Huntech Pro. Really is enjoyable hunting with you and Bueller and uh, always a pleasure to spend time with fantastic people in the bushveld, people that love and appreciate our, our way of life, our hunting culture, as much as we do at Montero. So we've had a lot of fun this week. Um, I was privileged enough to guide you on that fantastic Impala Ram, walk and stalk. We saw them, came up around the wind, crawled a little bit, booty scooted, got behind some bushes, and then watched that herd of rams for about half an hour before a quality hard ram walked out and you made a fantastic shot strong quartering towards right on the tip of the shoulder and yeah he ran about 50 meters and then went down and that was fantastic i love it I love it when a hunting plan comes together and then yeah obviously feeling very privileged to have been with beulah when she got to take her sable you know the germans have an ethic of hunting the oldest or anything crippled or you know taking out the weak genetics or the animals that have been wounded and really uh, Bueller embraced the, the, the German hunting ethic there by taking a very old sable bull, broken off tips, abscess on his neck, fighting wounds everywhere, stab wound in the stomach. It was an animal with amazing character and I feel we really did him a service by putting him out of his, what was sure, living in misery. Thank you for being a part of that. Thank you to the Huntech Pro team. You guys really are top quality people, excellent hunters. You have the right ethics and I'm very excited to work with you guys further in the industry. So thanks again for this amazing opportunity and I look forward to the next episode that we get to do together. Who knows, there could be some more exciting stuff on the way. To watch Huntex episodes or to find out more about their sponsors and destinations, visit their website and find them on social media. Thank you for all the support through Season 2 of Huntex Pro. Thank you to each farm and sponsor which makes all this possible. We will be back with Season 3 of Huntech Pro very soon.